Hi guys, it's Elizabeth Pfeiffer from ElizabethPfeiffer.com and today's topic of conversation is energetic grids. What are they and how do they work? And when we look at energy grids from the perspective of your energy and your soul, what they are, and I'm just going to walk you through this because it's really kind of complicated to explain. Um, but what they are is when you come in as a soul, you function from a set of grids that you've already set up. And within these grids are all of your thoughts, feelings, and kind of beliefs that you are going to create while you're here. And even when you're in childhood, your grids are not completely um, established yet. So as you come here and you grow and you learn and you interact and experience um, different people with their own uh, beliefs, what you're doing at that young, really young age, I think, and I keep seeing the number five, before the age of five, is you're taking this grid and you're um, building it, so to speak. So you're building up your grid. And what that means is, if you think of a spider web is what they're showing me, you know, you're coming in with kind of like a half woven spider web. And as you interact with like your parents, your grandparents, your culture, your society, um, the way in which you grow up within those first five years, you're weaving into your grid specific beliefs that you've experienced. So for example, you know, if you're, um, if you're from a specific spiritual background, you're going to weave into your grid specific spiritual beliefs that are common within your religion or within your culture or within the rituals that you do. And as you build up that spider web and you weave it all together, you sometimes will weave it with um, beliefs that belong to your parents, beliefs that belong to your culture, your society, your spiritual organization. And you create this, um, this grid, this completed spider web, if you will. And as we look at that from a soul, we grow up, right? Five years old, you have your grids all set, we grow up. And um, we now are functioning from that grid that we've created. So everything that we think, feel, and believe is based on that grid that we've created. And we keep creating that grid over and over again. So you're not functioning necessarily from your five-year-old grid, but as you go to high school, college, um, and you're in relationships with other people, you know, that grid is malleable. So you pull out pieces and then you put in pieces and you pull out pieces and it's constantly ever changing. Um, the hardest pieces and the ones that are like the least discoverable are usually the beliefs and perspectives of our parents that we've woven into our grid because it's become such a part of our fabric um, and such a part of our grid. And they're so old that they're actually woven into our energy that we can't always discern what is ours and what is theirs. And so what happens with that is we get to a point in our evolution where we're ready to step out, play big, and we keep running into this kind of like invisible block or belief or, or whatever um, that says, you know, I'm not worth it, I can't do it, whatever that belief is. And what we find is that belief that you woven into that grid isn't even yours, okay? So some of them are, right? Because you have maybe um, worth issues or abundance issues that you've taken on your on your own through your own experience. But for some of us, there are grids in which... Um, are not ours, beliefs that, that are not ours. And they're showing me this kind of like, if you imagine like this, I, I can't tell if you can see it because I'm on a different platform. Okay, here. So if you imagine this is kind of like a grid, right? And you've put all these pieces in and this is how you're functioning from it. And then you run into a, um, this kind of energy piece where you keep going forward, going forward, going forward, and you're just not making any movement. What we do is we look at your grid and we see, well, where is that block coming from? And then we can go right in here and we go, oh, I see it. This belongs to your mom or your dad from when you were whatever age and you're functioning from this belief. And what we do is we go into that grid. We do grid work. So um, I have the ability to work with my guides and everybody to go in and work with your grids. And anything that's not in alignment with where you're going or what you're wanting to create that belong to your parents that is ready to leave and you're kind of willing to give that up, we can go into that 
back grid and go, oh, there it is. Let's, oh, look, it's mom and dad. <laughs> you know, sometimes that happens. And you pull that out of your grid and you see here, there's like a hole here, right? Because you've pulled out that piece that doesn't belong to you and we send that up to source. And then we have um, your soul, your energy, Find these pieces of worth, of abundance that is yours, uniquely to you, to your own soul's essence. And then what we do is we bring that down and put that back into your grid and then repattern, reconnect your grid. And so now this grid is now functioning more from your own essence and not from your parents. That's really kind of a show and tell. <laughs> of how we do grid work. Um, but the, the piece about grid work is when you run into that kind of wall and you feel like you've been doing a ton of work around it, um, then it's one of those times where you have to look at, well, where, whose beliefs are these and, and where are you functioning from them? Because if they're not yours, you can clear them. You can just release them from your grid and then repattern them. And there's, there's this release that happens. If they are yours, that's okay too. Because then it's just a belief that you can counteract and, and um, move into a greater sense of alignment with um, as you move forward in your own essence. So that is kind of like the basic short story to grid work. And what happens is um, also we have a bunch of these. So you have one for abundance, one for relationships, one for health, one for alignment, one for work, one for, you know, there's a whole bunch of grids. And so what happens every now and then in the work that I do is when a grid issue comes up, that is more of the above work that we talked about in some of our videos. We do the above work and then we call it the below work, which is really the mindset work. Grid work is above work. Grid work is soul energy work. Grid work is combination of belief systems also, but it's belief systems that you woven in from childhood and through your experience over the years that are not yours. It's when you've taken on beliefs, when you've taken on, um, <clears throat> sit, um, could it even be trauma actually, illness, you can take on illness. When you've taken on something from someone else that is not yours and you're trying to process that in your own energy um, and you've woven it into your grid. And so when that occurs, once it comes up and you're willing at that point in time to shift it, then we can simply remove it. We, we call recalibrate your grid update it and fill it in with your own soul's essence. So we just wanted to pop in today and talk about grids. It's been coming up a lot. Uh, again, that is our above work, the esoteric energy work from above. And um, some of the below work that follows that is changing the mindset and repatterning your feelings and beliefs after that grid work is done to reinforce it and ground it into the present breath of now. So we hope you found that to be helpful. We're wishing you a great day and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.